food. <laughs> he, 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 he was laughing. He was, he was yeah, know, he was laughing. Like, so, good I morning. Know. It is Wednesday, May what? 24th? Uh -huh. 24th. Yeah, 24th. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry I didn't even finish the vlog yesterday. Um, we we literally just, we did a lot of things. I'll tell you what we did later, but right now we're starting the tour. So yeah, I'll talk to you later. Um, so right here we see where all these sort of uh, barricades, fences. It is a synagogue. And for, for two years, there were, uh, it's the first time I see a synagogue without the soldiers. There were soldiers around the synagogue. And since, uh, January 2015, you know, the, the the attacks on Charlie Hebdo, the, the, the magazine, and right after Charlie Hebdo, a couple of days later, the same terrorists attacked uh, a Jewish supermarket, a kosher supermarket. So the Jewish community uh, was quite concerned about that, and the government decided to have soldiers protecting Jewish private schools, synagogues, Jewish centers, etc. So for two years, every time I walked on the boulevard, there were uh, soldiers here, and now they're not here anymore. Maybe it means that the threats and the tensions are a little bit lower, so maybe it's a good thing. Uh, I hope it's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is interesting because Belleville is a place of coexistence because there's been so many different ways of migrations coexisting together that people had to, to, uh, to in a way, live in peace in the neighborhood. For example, right there, where we'll see it in a minute, there's a, a, a sort of small supermarket and they sell both halal and kosher products, so products for Muslims and products for Jews, which is something not that common. But really, if you think about it, especially in this area, there are a lot of people from Tunisia. And in Tunisia, there used to be both important Jewish communities and majority of the population is Muslim. So, in a way, a lot of them come from the same countries, country originally, they share a lot of things culturally. So there, there is this thing of coexistence that is quite interesting. Really. Let's go this way and then I'm going to take you to the street. Yeah, the police is there, but I'm talking about soldiers oh. with um, machine guns. Oh, wow. okay. Yes. So is that saying like the school for a community for young girls? Okay, École Communale de Jeunes Filles. It used to be like that. Now the schools are, how do you say, co-ed? Yeah. Yeah. Now every public school is co-ed, but as it's a school that was built in the, I don't know, probably the 1800s, they kept the, the, the history facade, but you have boys and girls going there. And this is something that is, I think, it became national in the 1960s, 1970s to have co-ed schools and as well uh, no more uniforms. Uh, oh, oh. Before uh, the 1960s, uniforms were uh, compulsory, mandatory uh, in France. In Martinique, that is part of France, it is still uh, mandatory. You, uh, for instance, if you're going to every um, public middle school in Martinique, you, you need to wear the uniform. And it's something, it's not only about authority, but it's something as well about equality. They say that poor kids and rich kids wear the same clothes, yeah. so you don't know who's who. Oh, and yeah, there's yeah, this yeah. idea that when you're going to a French school, you're a public school in France, you're not the children of your parents, or the children of the French public. And it goes back to uh, all the, um, the debates about the hijab, the scarf. If you are a 15-year-old Muslim young girl and you want to wear the veil to your um, middle school, it's bad. You cannot go. You cannot enter the school. Oh wow! Religious uh, sign. So officially, they say no, no. It's not against Muslims. It's against religious signs. But it's only yeah. targeted to Muslims uh, in, in in reality. So yeah, oh, there, there yeah. are a lot of debates about that. Um, if you go to uh, the suburbs of Paris, for instance, in some cities like Saint Denis, so not so far from Paris, uh, you have large um, Muslim communities. Sometimes, in, in even some cities or some neighborhoods, they are the majority. So they would say, okay, we are like probably 60 70 percent oh. of the population of the school and you don't even let us decide yeah, if we want yeah. to wear the, the veil or not and the authority would say that's not the problem you are in france and france is a non-religious country so here you go uh. right on the left under oh. the flag right under the flag so you have a ship from water and right under it oh yeah that's mine <laughs> yeah thank you right under it it says in latin fluctuat Nec Verditur, which means um, it's a boat that rocks, rocks, but never sinks. And it's a, a sort of um, 
metaphor for Paris because the city of Paris started on Ile de la Cité, you know where Notre Dame is, island of the sea. So Paris started as an island on the river. So it is represented as a boat on the water that, that has problems sometimes but that will never sink. So that's the the, the, the stuff for Paris. And it's, and it's something that a lot of people were, you know, really proud about uh, after the attacks. Like Paris might be under attack but Paris will always be there. So, so there's something uh, pretty cool. I give you five minutes to work around here. Why uh, do you have things like that in this neighborhood? It is because it's not a rich neighborhood. Uh, if you are trying to do something like that uh, in a street in Saint Germain or on the Champs Elysees, you would get shot. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. It's a neighborhood that is a little bit more, you know, a little bit younger and more artistic, more alternative. So th th this is something uh, really possible. If you look, uh, you will see as well that there's a lot of diversity and this is what French people called social mixity. Mixité sociale, they have the idea of that people from different origins, different communities should live together and it's something that is very important for the French. It doesn't always work. Uh, but they're like, no, people should not live in separate communities like in Canada, in America, in UK. They should uh, live all together. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. about the, the laws on, like, on immigrants that were harder and harder and harder. So, um, you know, if you are an illegal or undocumented uh, immigrant in France, you might be deported to the country where you're from. So the police finds about you. Or, but sometimes it goes a little bit further because there was a, a man, an old Chinese man, this is a school, he was taking his uh, child, his grandchild to school and the police was waiting for him <gasps> and deported him. So a lot of people were like, we, we don't care. I mean, the debate is not about immigration for or against. It's about schools are a special place and people should not be afraid taking their, 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 their kids to school. And it became, a, it was in 2006, 2007. And um, there was a big political debate about it during the, the presidential campaign because uh, there were two candidates, so one was the left-wing candidate and the right-wing candidate at the time, it was the, the um, Minister of Interior. So it's because of him that this type of things happen and he would defend his, um, his ideas. And then he was elected, it was Nicolas Sarkozy, President of France from 2007, 2012. So the, it, it started a whole another conversation about how far can you go uh, just to respect the law things like that and recently there's been a lot of talks about the, the Asian community uh, in France there is this idea that Asians integrate or are more successful than other immigrants so therefore they don't they don't have any problems and they, they, don't, they don't have to go through discrimination and it's not true they are they, 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 uh, they uh, go through a lot of stereotypes they have a lot of problems and this, and there are sometimes this idea that they are more successful than the others is a problem for them because I said I wouldn't purchase. Which one? This one or the one next door? This one. This one? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll be back. I'm gonna go up because I saw some place and... He's scared of pain. He's scared of... 
Please report back before you get in trouble. We are currently at a neighborhood called Le Leha Leha Les Highs. I don't know. Um, we're going to this hip hop place that we're gonna see how like they um, dance and stuff. And it's like an institute. We were just like in this cafe, um, just like drinking some like water and like stuff like that. We've been sitting here for like an hour. I did. I think I did a time lapse. Um, but yeah, we're about to do that. We went and took a tour of Belleville, um, which was really interesting. I had a lot of footage of that, but I haven't really been like speaking to the camera. So um, after this, we're gonna go to the apartment, I mean to the hotel for um, about an hour or so to get ready because we're going out to dinner. And then after that, we're going to meet with the French um, students. So yeah, I'll um, probably record a little bit more. I'm sorry this is like not a like me talking into every single clip that you see. It's more of like you um, seeing whatever I'm seeing or like through my eyes of this um, study abroad experience. So I'm mostly doing that instead of like, oh like to, right now we're doing this and then we're doing this and like just talking over. I prefer to just like show you instead of like um, tell you what I'm seeing um, if you understand what I mean so yeah right now we're gonna do that you'll you'll come along and yeah I'll check up on you later and see how everything else is going <laughs> The garden uh, in front of the, the big building here mm -hmm. uh, will, will be named Mandela's Garden. So really? he came for the inauguration oh. for the opening. Oh, okay. yes. oh. Very cool. Yeah, cool. yeah I think uh, Paris here, like the, the the big difference with other countries is that uh, we have some money from city halls and oh. like the culture is really helping okay. by the government and by the the, the institution because mm -hmm. it's uh, we, we say the exception French culture it's it's really uh, it's really like from France like it's we, we you don't really see that in other country like for instance we have a system for artists like they they have to make some uh, like around like 500 hour by a year 
And when you did that as an artist, you can have like a, um, a compensation of salary if you don't make enough hour to leave. Wow. So it's our system kind of yeah. to help artists and to support art and culture because we are the, I think, the second country more visited in the world. So it's also because we have a, a culture really support, um, our culture is really supported by our government and institution. So that's that, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I, I, I was telling you, like this building uh, was uh, made by the city hall of Paris, mm -hmm. and uh, most of the money f to run the place is from the the government. And, wow. uh, but we have like a, an economic business between like the privatization, like for instance, where Facebook will come like next week to have like a, a meeting or something, so they are paying for that. And in the other hand, all this money we are putting back in the art right. and the project that we receive here. Gee, that's, that's cool. cool. That is really cool. Yeah. Off yeah. and have oh. all the, the place. Okay. So then, when we receive some uh, battles events or what, you can be uh, up like around like two hundred people. Uh, okay. Oh, what? Yeah, it depends of the event. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah because our mission is, so I told you like to develop and uh, help people to be more professional in hip hop culture, but it's also to make pedagogy and transmission uh, by different generation and to, to, to try to have some spaces uh, which make people in link, kind of. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know. cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, hip hop stage because if here we do a concert, you know, oh hip hop artists, rapper and singer, you know, perform here. So if you have a stage, you can, you can be this way, but you can have a smaller, you can have a non stage at all. You can make here, you know, we have different kind of a way to to do that. I really invite you to go to our uh, YouTube uh, channel because uh, you can see the different uh, way that this room can text. Like for instance, if you see the, the DJ uh, show, it will not be this kind of configuration, it will be something else. Uh. But it, and if it's dancing, it could be something else too. Yeah. So it, it depends really about the event, like all the rooms here, uh, uh, was made uh, to be whatever you want yeah. at the beginning. What's your YouTube? Mm. Yeah, even if you have a, like a major, Laplace. like a yeah. Laplace. Laplace. Yeah, if you if you even if you have a major, like um, Christelle was telling you, like this room was made at first as a music room. Yeah. You can see that we can always change it, change it mm -hmm. to uh, adapt the the room for people. Yeah, that's cool. Yes. And especially because we are in Paris, <laughs> and every matter counts, because we don't have a lot of space. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's also for that. Yeah. <laughs> but here we can have like uh, 450 people, so it really? could be 450? Yeah. So it depends on the configuration, right. but still it's it, you can have a lot. Yeah. And if you make an event where people are sit, then we can be like 200 or something. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, for the immigration, we have a record. You know, yeah, yeah. 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 En fait, je leur ai dit que c'était un, un fond, dans le sens où euh, le, le matériel valorisé, ça représente une certaine somme yeah. d'argent qu'on n'a pas investi. Au niveau international, ouais. bah on était censé avoir Kendrick Lamar. Hein. Ouais, mais non. <rire> non, ah, après, on, on vient juste d'ouvrir. On a yeah. eu des gens qui ne connaissent pas des, yeah. des, des Africains. Yes, 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 yes. Not really American, I think not too much because it's our first Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That will change very soon, I think. Yeah, yeah I think too. <laughs> yes. I think too. Mm -hmm. But yes, at the beginning, as I told you, like this place was made by the City Hall of Paris and the district of the. Uh, Saint Saint Denis, mm. and uh, it was at the beginning to make the focus on the art scene of here. Yeah. So it's why we had a lot of yeah. uh, knowledge artists from France, and for us it's really important that they can come here and they can uh, think that yeah. 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 that they can think that this place is ours. Mm -hmm. And this is us too, you know, that they can <coughs> yeah. be like a part of the community. <coughs> yeah, and also we have events for kids and we have events like, uh, for, like, for instance, if you like music, you can come for the music, but we also have like dance battle and we also have like dance performance and we also have workshop and yeah. like that you can really like see all the differences 
uh, of the hip hop culture, hip hop mm -hmm. movement, and hip hop art. Mm -hmm. That's why we are a, a cultural center. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I haven't really recorded much because we've been like non-stop before right now. I see. Um, before right now, we are simply just um, sitting in a 24-hour cafe, just like getting some desserts. I think I'm gonna get some ice cream, and um, and I think that's all I have to say right now. We are just going to um, sit down and enjoy a dessert and just uh, look into the streets. I mean, I cannot believe it. This city is truly the city of light and it never sleeps. There are people, it is currently like almost 11 at night and it's still like going. People, and I feel because I think that it's also because tomorrow I think is a bank holiday, so nobody has to work tomorrow. So I think that's why like everybody's just wide awake and partying tonight. So yeah, I'll, um, I'm going to just. Uh, relax and eat some dessert so yeah um, yeah I'll talk to you later bye mm -hmm.